A complete and total loss. That's what fire officials are saying about a devastating fire that ripped through a McAllen IHOP last night. Investigators now believe they know what may have started that blaze. Imelda Mejia has more. The fire marshal with the city of McAllen has now ruled that the cause of the fire was this light, which was left on earlier in the day by construction workers. A halogen light was left resting on the roof after construction workers did some electrical work in the attic of the store. And that light turned on at some point, lit the roof and spread the fire throughout the attic. Management noticed a smell of smoke, you know, when they went in into the attic. I mean, they opened the attic, they noticed embers, they called 911. CBS 4 was first on the scene as smoke and flames were seen coming from the IHOP roof. This IHOP was built in the 70s and was the very first one in the Rio Grande Valley. You know, there's a lot of sentimental uh, uh, memories here, some sentimental value. Um, a lot of people from, you know, uh, Mexico would visit stars and, uh, you know, we would take pictures of them and it was it was just like a, a good thing that we would do with, with our employees and our customers. Once news of the fire spread, many residents traveled down to the store Monday to see what was left of their old hangout spot. It's kind of like a landmark because we've um, been here for such a long time. I don't know of any restaurant that's been here for that long. The group of teens had just visited the restaurant on Friday after prom, as it was a tradition to eat at the now burned down restaurant after special occasions too. You sit down, have some good talks, laughs. Can't, can't really experience that there anymore. The last fire inspection on the restaurant was in 2014, but CBS4 was told the restaurant passed its final evaluation. Sunday's fire was ruled accidental. There were no injuries reported, but the fire department has declared the restaurant a complete loss. Although the fire happened less than 24 hours ago, IHOP officials say there are already talks of reconstructing a new IHOP building within the next six months. In McAllen, Imelda Mejia, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. IHOP officials are planning a meeting Wednesday to see how they can relocate the 45 employees from that restaurant that was destroyed.